everyone, I am Chelsea, and fall is here. So that means everything pumpkin. So let's make some pumpkin muffins today. The first thing you need to do is let's preheat the oven to 375. I've already taken care of that. And then you're going to need a muffin tin that will hold 12 muffins. And you can either spray them, grease them, um, use bake release if you, you have that cake release, or you can just line them with paper liners like I did today. Now, the first step we're going to do is we're going to start with our dry ingredients. So I have got one and three fourths cups of all purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And I actually made this myself and I will link the video to that so that you can see how to do it. It's pretty easy. So we're just gonna pour off a tablespoon. And I have my little leveler, which is kind of nice so you don't overdo it. That's a, that's a healthy tablespoon. So we'll throw that in. Then I'm going to do some cinnamon, which I absolutely love. And we're going to use, um, let me make sure, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Sometimes I just use the side of the um, jar too as my leveler. So there's one, two, got those done. And now I'm going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm gonna use the opposite side, the clean side. One and two. Now we can just set that aside. And we'll get started with our wet ingredients. Let me see, I'll just leave this here for now because we're just going to mix up a couple of things and then we'll add more. So y'all hang on a second, let me move these things out of our way. And we will start with half a cup of melted butter. So, and it's, it's cooled off, but it's still melted. You really don't want it hot because we're gonna add some eggs to this and we don't want scrambled eggs. Okay, y'all, I forgot an important ingredient, salt. Half a teaspoon goes into your dry mix. So I'll set that aside. Now, <clears throat> got half a cup of butter and I'm going to add some 100% pumpkin. Be sure and read the label because some of these pumpkin blends are just that, pumpkin blends. So you need one can, which is 15 ounces. I'm adding that to the butter. It's already yummy. I could stop right there. It's just so yummy to mix pumpkin and butter together. Mm. So we'll get as much of this out as we can. And comment below, let me know what kind of pumpkin recipes you love or, you know, are you a pumpkin latte person? Last year I made this pumpkin feta dip and I know it just sounds crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, so we're gonna blend that together. Okay, so that looks really smooth. Nice. Now we're gonna add our sugars three-fourths a cup of brown sugar, and you wanna pack that down. So I just wanna show you, look at the difference. Three-fourths a cup of granulated, three-fourths a cup of brown. A Little bit more fluffy, a little bit more sugar. So we'll put that in. And the granulated sugar. I'm gonna mix that until it's Thoroughly mixed up, smooth looking. Shouldn't take long. 
looking great. Okay, next we'll do our two eggs. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of a vanilla. Which if y'all been cooking with me at all, you know I love vanilla. So I might even add a little bit more after I, I'll taste test it in a, a few minutes. So mixing that together. Mm -mm. All right, we're almost done. So we're gonna take the dry ingredients and I'm just gonna get a spoon. It'll be a little bit easier to put it in. Actually, I'm gonna just use a metal spoon. So let me just kind of mix that. You don't really have to. This is gonna mix in the KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer and you've been thinking about buying one, um, oh my gosh, Costco's got the um, Pro uh, on sale right now, $100 off. Kind of jealous because it's the difference is you don't have to stop it and open this up like that. It just slides up and down. So cool. but I still love my mixer. The mixer, I wish I could get my hands on. <clears throat> my mom's old KitchenAid, first of all, was antique, so that would be kind of cool to have. But I can't tell you how many times she had it rewired you know, because the cord would wear out, the electrical cord. But that mixer, wow. It was a workhorse. I love when you buy an appliance and it's an appliance for life. It's kind of rare these days, but I feel like this KitchenAid's one of them. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this up until it's smooth. I'm gonna go in with the spatula and just kinda go around the edges. And look, you don't need a KitchenAid. You can do this with a hand mixer. I did that for years. Do you know how it is? You're raising kids and I had four of them. Uh, buying a $400 mixer was not top of my list even though it would have been great I may do with a little handheld and I did just fine but you know when you become an empty nester then you can get all those cool things that you dreamed of okay so let me go one more time And that looks great. So let's see the batter. I'll clean that off. And then we're going to be ready to scoop these into the muffin tins. All right. So let me just take this off, get it out of the way. I can hand that over to you, Mr. Cameraman. Unplug that. And I'm so glad y'all are here cooking with me. This is a fun one and tasty. 
and a good alternative to buying or making a big pumpkin pie. You can just make these muffins. Now, let me stop right here. Here's where you can get really creative. I'm going to make these just straight up pumpkin muffins. But this is the point where if you wanna add um, pecans, walnuts, chocolate chips, dried cranberry, you can just get really creative with this recipe and um, you know, do what you love. I mean, I think it would be great with walnuts or pecans. So, um, you know, I suggest that. And even chocolate chips, which I might make one or two of those just to try it. Okay, fourth of a cup. That's what you want for each muffin. Just kind of shake it off. And it's good to be consistent if you can with these, they'll bake better. So we're just going right in. It's kind of like making cookies. If you have a cookie scoop, it's going to be better for you. This is a nice thick batter, as you can see. And I'm sure they're going to puff up beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop the rest of these out. I'll show you what that looks like. And then they're going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So a quick tip from my cameraman, which absolutely works, is take your spatula, dip it in some water, shake it off, and then you can kind of smooth the tops down. So that everything's pretty consistent. And I did decide a couple of these I'm gonna sprinkle with some walnuts and chocolate chips. Just a few. Just to see, you know, does it enhance the flavor? What do I think? So I'm just gonna do two of them. I mean, you can put nuts on anything for me and I love it, so I feel like it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna kind of push them down with my finger. But remember, this muffins are gonna kind of puff up, so they will grab the nuts. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna just check them for doneness with a toothpick. Then we'll take them out and you do need to cool them on your cooling rack, your cookie rack for about 10 minutes. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out. All right, babes, we are back. And here are our pumpkin muffins. And you can see they really puffed up nicely. The thing that I would do differently, if I'm going to add any extras, like in these two, I'm gonna mix it in a little bit better, but I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. So these are hot out of the oven. They need to cool on the rack for 10 minutes, then I'll pop them out and let them finish cooling completely. And I don't know about y'all, but suddenly I am so ready for Thanksgiving because it smells like fall in my kitchen. And I just wanna thank everybody for watching and cooking with me. I will list all of the ingredients in the description below so that you can just grab them and give these a try. I think they would be great at Thanksgiving. Can't wait to have them later tonight after dinner. And I will see you again really soon. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again. It's